why does everyone's diet suck ass? Like, serious question, why? Oh, I have a teacher that drinks two liters of Dr. Pepper every single day. Two big-ass bottles of Dr. Pepper every single day. So many people's diet is consisted of literally fast food and just trash. They literally sell chips and Doritos and Mountain Dew and Red Bull and all this garbage food at school. I mean, they sell it everywhere. But, but why? Like this junk food and this garbage is, is meant as a treat for like for success or for whatever you want to treat yourself with. It's not meant for an everyday food. If you think about it, people back then didn't have that garbage. I think so many health problems come from diet. Because of all this dog shit sugar and all, all these chemicals that are just planted inside of all this food. Like if you just eat plain, just divine food that you get from the grocery store, like potatoes, chicken, avocados, rice, you will have beautiful, no health problems at all. No health problems will happen. But it, the problem comes when there's so many fucking fast food restaurants and so much trash everywhere that it's impossible to avoid junk food. You can't get away from it. When's the last time you've seen... When's the last time you've gone, like, an entire day without seeing, like, someone that's fat? It's, like, literally impossible. I could probably look out the window and see, like, an overweight person. So not even that hard. So many overweight people nowadays. So many people that don't know anything about health. And there are those people that's like, if it's in my macros, I can eat it. But that doesn't make sense. If you eat 2,000 calories of trash, you're still consuming trash. It doesn't help you. Even if it keeps you lean, you're still consuming 2,000 calories worth of trash. It doesn't help your position. It, it, you feel you eat trash, you feel like trash. That old, that lifelong saying, that lifelong saying, you are what you eat, is true. You literally feel like garbage if you eat garbage. You feel amazing if you eat good food, good clean food. If you're wondering what food to eat, picture it this way. If I was if I didn't have any of these grocery stores and I had to get the food by myself, by growing it or by killing it, would this be one of them? Would I be able to grow, let's say, a cucumber? Yeah. Would you be able to grow pancakes? No, that's not possible. You would be able to grow or kill a cow or a chicken or fish. You could hunt all of those. Those are all perfectly good foods. You can get every single supplement you need from all of those amazing foods. But the problem comes when you eat all this food that's filled with sugar. Oh, I need to get 45 grams of carbs in. Let me eat some fucking McDonald's, McDonald's McFlurry. Like, that's not how that works. <clears throat> Maintaining diet is one of the most important things that one can do for their health, both physically and mentally. It is one of the most crucial things that you can do to improve your life. And now the saddest part is that nowadays it's like not even concerned. It's like McDonald's, KFC, Kentucky Fried Chicken, like Dairy Queen, Jack in the Box. Like literally just in my school, if you look, there's a pizza place, there's a Subway, there's a Jack in the Box and a McDonald's and a Wabba Grill in one spot, literally in the corner of an intersection between the school. You know how many people I see eating fucking all of that food just from coming to school. Everybody has a bag of McDonald's immediately in the morning for breakfast. And then after school, they take their friends and they walk over to McDonald's twice in, in just the span of school. Like that is dangerous. People need to be careful about this. <clears throat>